is Andre. These are Ambrosia planted 2019, uh, G41, two foot by 11 feet. So hold on a second, 19, 20, 21, these will be just third leaf? Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, and uh, Ambrosia, I mean, planted what, two feet apart? Two feet apart, yep. So what's your system here? Uh, you're a super spindle. Super spindle, all right. So we're just looking to have short fruitful branches. Uh, they have a real tendency to grow these upright branches like these. Yeah. So we're trying to fight against them. We did a lot of branch bending the first year. These are the wires that we use. We still have them here. We, I had my guys tie them back to the wires, so if we wanted to use them again, we could. Um, this is the, the first big planting of ambrosia that we've tried. First planting. The first planting of ambrosia. We've, we've only been allowed to have ambrosia since a few years. Um, who was in charge of uh, taking care of this blind wood? <laughs> There's, we did a lot of Maxell treatments. My dad did a lot of Maxell treatments. And there's a few trees that are, we, we notched them too. Uh, you can see the notch right there. It wasn't terribly effective, was it? Yeah, I, they grew too fast at the nursery and they get blind wood like this. They were whips when you got so, They were whips, there were no branches on them. Uh, I mean, were they from Washington? Yes. I find a lot of the Washington trees, I don't know what it is about their nursery growing conditions. There's seven people watching now. Uh, have this, you know, they, they grow a lot of blind wood that year of their growth. Anyways, all right, well, huh, it's kind of a bummer, isn't it? Well, I hope that they'll break. There's still, there's some, you know, that one just fell off. No, nah, they're not going to break. <laughs> they're probably not going to break down there. These will break. Where's Win Kogo when you need him, our branching expert? All right, so, not tall spindle, super spindle. So how are you going to deal? What are you going to deal? How are you going to deal with these, Andre? Or what's your what's your thinking? You want to cut out the big branches, leaving stubs. Try to so when they when we cut these before, we usually get two or three new branches to come out. Okay. Hopefully, just hopefully we get a a, a low no. angled branch on the bottom and a strong one on the top. Take the strong one off and leave the low. So finish this tree, because I can't, it's better if I don't move around. Um, I find super spindle both frustrating and, and it should be easy. So what about that cut right there? Somebody who grows ambrosia, Doug, fruit wagon. Is that okay? Which one? That one you just did, right This down one there. here? Yeah. yeah. Buds behind it. Right okay. There. There's right. lots yeah. of, there's nice Pretty buds good. behind it. All right. It's down low. It's below the bottom wire. The bottom wire is at 30 inches. <clears throat> okay. So we don't want anything long down there. Is he done? Everything else that's left on the tree is pretty calm. Would you let, okay. Yeah, I'm not, I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Uh, my my questions arise. So what do you do? What are you gonna do here? Sorry, everybody. This snow is like makes me jerk all around. What are you gonna do there? I'm curious. I don't know. We can cut it up. You're not gonna cut it back to here, for example. Why are you gonna cut off all the? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. I cut this back to there. He, Doug says you're done. Not much choice. But certainly, you know, Ambrosia does love to do this, and you can't leave that in there. That's good. Um, you should have watched Hank Markgraf during a Washington meeting a couple years ago gave a nice tutorial on, video tutorial on pruning Ambrosia. But I don't think they're that hard. I think the point is you just got to take out that big upright wood. You can't let this tall, super spindle stuff get too long, can you, Mo? Can you? No. They should have a pretty good crop this year. Did they have any last year? No, nothing. They had nothing last year. What do you think, Dave? Looks good. Looks good? Yes. They got you trained well, don't they?
We're bending that over or just cutting it I mean, your butt together. <laughs> Anything strong or cutting. You know what I always tell everybody when they ask me, should I bend it over? I say, no, I'll cut it off because you'll never get around to bending it over. So what about this? Yep. See, here's one. We have a, yeah. a low, low angled branch in an upright. So what do you, what do you hope is going to happen here? You're going to form a few fruit buds and then you'll be able to come and cut it back yep. next year. And these are two feet apart. Yep. You only got a foot. You really want the branches in a foot. Side to side. So, yeah. this is already so why wouldn't why would you be crazy enough to do anything but super spindle? Why would you? I mean, this seems so simple. Prices, yeah. An establishment cost. They don't like to have long droopy branches, so the further you put them apart, the more difficult it is to get to fill the space. What are you gonna do here? Go ahead. I don't know. Leave it or cut it off. I don't. Well, were you done this tree? Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah, just I think I would have cut it back to that. Yeah. These are boring. Let me see. Not much shading in Ambrosia. Chris Smith is watching. Chris Smith says the trunk, the diameter is larger than the trunk up top. Okay, I think he was referring to. Okay, this one maybe. Yeah, maybe but I'm. Is it worth leaving this kind of thing like this, or should you just cut it off? If it was honey crisp, it would be. I'd cut it back to that butt. I'd, well, okay. Which one, this one? But whatever I don't, makes you happy is the right way to do it. Well, I don't think you can go too far wrong, do you? I mean, other than, I think the worst thing you could do is leave two, the bigger branches, the upright. One thing I take home from Ambrosia is you just can't let them get away with that. You've had them for a lot longer than the rest yeah. of them. Yeah, but my trees are four feet apart on Bud 9. Oh man, are those things spurred up now too? Yeah. Um, well, I, I think these will look great come spring. There's Fuji's over there if you want to look at those. Anybody want to see Fuji's? They're, they're a lot different than the ambrosia. Somebody said we try to flush cut. We try to flush cut the big stuff right away. But then, <laughs> Leslie says leave the stubs. <laughs> That's the worst case. You you leave the stubs it. and, it's, and it's trouble to take it out next year. Yeah. I mean, this is a stub I, I mean, left. I mean, isn't ambrosia kind of the poster child for super spindle? Sure, let's go look. We got, I'm still going. We can. She says it's too fast. Okay, let's go look at some Fujis. I got to walk in the snow. I don't, I really never, I don't like pruning Fujis. I don't know why. They just, to me, they, they throw up all sorts of question marks. So these are Fuji Super Spindle too? Yeah, also planted at two foot. G41. Mo's, Mo's become quiet. Uh, much more complex branch. So let's pick a tree and kind of what would you do? Which one do you want to do? I don't, this one, yeah, yeah. I don't. Uh, Simplify these branches. Now, Fuji's kind of a tip bearer, isn't it? Yep. It's probably not the best tree in the world for super spindle. We'll call it a, small, a tall spindle now. <laughs> I don't know what to make of some of these comments. <laughs> so, what about this? What about, you, you think this is okay? Crossing over? No, well, I'll trust, uh, well, just yeah, well, yeah, what do you think for super spindle? 
Do you think it's going to be shaving? I don't know. I really, this is why I wouldn't want to prune these myself. I'm sorry, I'm losing you here. Where are we? Oh, there you are. I mean, if Doug, Doug says you flush cut all this stuff. Not, I, I assume he meant like stub cut it or cut it back to the trunk. No, flush cut would be. Well, but cut it back to, the, what if you cut it back to the trunk? I don't know. Yes? You don't need it that long with the Fuji. Just well, two, two fingers. I mean, should, should you cut all this stuff back? Or, I mean, you got fruit. You got, I don't know, I'm asking. It's got fruit you got fruit right. here, yeah, I know. But I mean, is that is that gonna be okay for this year? I don't think there's gonna be a problem. Okay. I don't know the answer, I'm just asking. There's too many side branches on these. <sighs> you, you, what about, you wouldn't cut this off, huh? I just don't think you can let these tall sp super spindles get out of hand. How's that look? Better. Well, yeah, yeah, I want to do, yeah, maybe, maybe even farther back on that one. I don't know. What do you think, Mo? I'd go back now. You got... I think Andre knows where his money's coming from this year. Uh, okay. Well... Not on Fuji. It never ends well. Just Ambrosia. So now Doug says, not on Fuji. Don't cut it back. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody wants to know what variety of Fuji these are. Aztec. Aztec. Well, I'm sorry. Cropping is your best growth control. Yep. And these... These 41s could get. They had no crop last year. You know, one thing to think about, you know, you know you, 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 Terrence Robinson always says, you know, big branches make big trees. So if you leave this kind of stuff, perhaps it's going to feed back into it more. I mean, I would have been tempted to cut that off right there, but I don't know. You don't think so, huh? Are these fruit buds? It does, doesn't it? Boy, it sure had, that sure did throw a lot of wood last year, didn't it? So, hold on. So what are we gonna, all right. So this year, what are we gonna do with all this stuff? We can start this. I don't know if, I don't know if everybody can see this. We got a lot of one-year-old wood. What are, we, what are we gonna do with it? Certainly not like ambrosia, is it? Nope, it's the complete opposite. So what are we gonna do with it? We could, we could eliminate a few of them too. To alternate them like we would in peaches so that we don't have a bunch of branches all the same age. So what what if you were to quote 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 unquote click prune all those? How does Fuji respond to click prune? Are the long rows a problem with what's best is oh come on Chris. We're not talking about that. Apogee? Yep. But what about I'm getting Yancey here, huh? Who wants to hold the phone for a minute? Let me put my Dave. You can do it. Just be careful. Yeah. Put my mask. What if you? What if you were to do this? I can't see without my glasses on now. I don't know. This is kind of like quick pruning, isn't it? Can't see. Would that, would that, would that help? Well, what push we, stuff back and form. I think they're if you gonna... leave it like if you leave it like you did here, you're gonna end up with these, which are probably not altogether bad. I'm just trying to understand some of this quick flick pruning stuff because supposedly if I cut that into one-year-old wood, that should help these form flower buds. Otherwise, I'm just going to get some flower buds, perhaps. But then I'm also going to get a tip. You know, a, you know did you head this one? No. Did you cut that? No. Yeah. Last year. This is last winter. Yeah. It's like well, last spring. Last year. Did you do this now? I don't know, I'm just asking.
So nobody is anybody we see anybody saying anything about the quick pruning. Don't push it. If if you tip if you if you click this in half like this, the bigger is gonna go to these buds and you're gonna get forks like this. But you're not you're not gonna as quickly put fruit buds on here. You may put them on next year, but my preference would be to come in and click this back to one or two buds rather than clicking them way out here and alternate them. You got two here off, all right? So you leave some long ones? I'd leave some long ones and then I shorten many of them. How are you going to train your help to do this? I don't think it's that hard. Okay. These should fruit up nicely. Maybe the ones that you tip, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's... I mean, I think there's a difference in response if we tip it here versus here. I think if we tip it here, it, but there's really no good reason to. I would just let these flowers... Well, what's click pruning then? I think it's, it's going back further. Mm -hmm. One or two buds. I would I would contend that I'm more wrong. wrong. It's more like... No, he's not close. More like this, but... The, the push, the, this would be, uh, to push, rather than it coming out here, to push it in. But I don't know. I just was asking because I, I saw it either, there. I, honest, yeah, know. yeah. I can't answer it either. All right. Okay. You getting any comments, Dave? Yes. <laughs> the comment is yes. <laughs> I got to put my glasses back on. Sorry for bouncing around. Oh, Jesus. Pardon my French. Speaking of Jesus, drop that mask for a minute, Mono. Okay. Um, somebody says a massacre, but I'm not gonna. Your, yeah, your, your, your friend, uh, Russell Brain there in Western Mass. <laughs> yep. No. Uh, Okay, guys, I don't know. I want to post this as videos later so I don't want it to get too boring. We done? All right. I think there's some cider waiting in the car. All right. Let me uh, say goodbye. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks, Mo and Andre and Dave. You're welcome. I think that was really interesting. I wish I could get over, do better on the video and sound quality and not run out of battery. If you want us or me to do more, let me know later. Otherwise, have a good afternoon. Bye.